So, <clears throat> hello everybody. We are going to have some fun today with that good old father's frontier. So let's see what we'll we'll get done today. I really hope that I will find a trader who's going to finally sell me those heavy tools we are missing. And besides that, it's uh, it's really I'm really down for getting deeper into the whole tier two business. So let's see. Where can I see what kind of uh, work we already have? Is there some way of checking this out? Because I gotta say, it's been a couple of uh, days since I've been here, and uh, I can't remember anymore what I've already set up and what I didn't. Well, okay. So there's no overview about the buildings I got in my town, huh? To take this. I mean, here we see the jobs that are um, around there, so that should work out. Wainwright, that must be the guy for the, for the wagon store. But I gotta say, it's a little bit hard to understand, considering all the different uh, jobs there are. Well, early game. Early exits. So, Coopers use iron. We don't have iron yet. I got the granary. Do I already have a granary? I think I do. If I remember correctly, I have set up one somewhere around here. Yeah, there's the granary. Yeah. Granario. Okay. The Arborist. That's something I wanted to do. Good lord, computer. Chill down. It's just a game. So the Arborist. Um, let's see. This is a good spot, I think so. There we go. Predator sighted. So. Take it down. Okay. So it obviously seems to be better to have the victim run away instead of uh, trying to to do a 1v1 there. Poor fellow, he's dead now. So, cholera. Hmm, well. We do have what it takes, don't we? Okay, so, ah yeah, the arborist requires clay. Did I already set up a clay pit or didn't I? So, it's been a couple of days, just like I said. But we're going to get back into everything in a minute, I, I, I bet. So, yeah, the clay pit is already set up here, okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Village you cured. Oh, the cholera is gone. And the uh, dude w w that got attacked by wolves has uh, died finally. Poor fellow. Okay. So far, so good. It seems like we're uh, right now. Ah, okay. This is something I really hope that gets fixed in the future that. When somebody dies, their job gets uh, replaced faster. Because right now, you basically have to wait a, a damn long time until... Um, you know, basically, you don't get a pop-up or anything that's telling you that there's somebody... Uh, there's uh, somebody dead and you're, uh, you need a new job there. So this place doesn't have access to clean water source. I think that's a filthy lie, but, uh, okay, where, where's the, where's the next fountain? Can I build better welds by now? Let's check it out. Soap shop, charcoal kiln, armory, 
candle shop, weaver, potter, apiary. That's something I wanted to do as well. And that's the resource gatherers. So, no, we don't seem to have a better uh, fountain yet. So, where the hell are my fountains, though? Ah, uh, so there's one here. Water bonus, 51 person. So it's obvious that uh, there's uh, simply not much water there, but whatever. We're going to build a less efficient one then. I don't mind. Okay. This looks like the sound settings got changed yet again. So. Been over the last few versions like that. Okay, so... Building the arborist there. And I think there's no reason not to set up the apiary already. Where was it? There. Honey bonus. So, what's the... <laughs> the garden here is extremely good for the apiary. That's fun. Because that means that... Uh... Ah, yeah, here. Yeah. That makes perfectly sense. My fields are also good for you know, beekeeping. I like that. There's a lot of good mechanics in there. Tusty Perusty, I there. I love people that are coming on by and saying stuff like that. Hope you're having a nice day so far. Kage, I there. Mm, yeah, Age of Empires plus Banished. That's a pretty good comparison, but uh, I don't know. Age of Empires is a little bit more militaristic. But this game has a lot of potential so far. It's just damn convoluted, and uh, my my biggest uh, issue with that game is so far that ah uh, oh yeah I can plant trees here. Is that uh, it's hard to understand everything, you know? Okay, so we can plant out apple trees, peach trees, and pear trees. Okay. What I'm trying to say is basically I have a lot of trouble finding out, uh, for example, what kind of uh, buildings I own at the very moment, or where I could build whatever I'm looking for. It's overall pretty, um, there, there's a, a severe lack of, um, of clarity in, in many various aspects, but, you know. You're getting it done. It's an early access game. I I hate early access by now, but whatever. At least we can play it before it's uh, released or something like that. You never played Age of Empires? Okay. Spent a lot of time back then. The campaigns are pretty good. Don't know, I don't like the PvP part too much though. So... Let's see. It would really suck if I had to uh, take care that the arborists' uh, trees are constantly manually replanted. I hope that uh, we're we're going to get a uh, automated version, uh, an automated thing there. So here's the market. So we already got a small garden. Oh no. Okay. Garden trail. Small park. Okay. Doesn't seem like we have a shrine yet. So. Or do we? The desirability goes up if I uh, place down a shrine somewhere. So.
Ah, the slope is too steep yet again. So, this would kick the houses up a notch, so let's do it. And let's bring up the roads. Yeah, so with a little bit of distance for, since the last time that I've been here, gotta say... God, this game has so many early access kinks, sadly. Making me really, really uh, sad to say that. Because it's already that good. It's something, it's uh, like, uh, I really want to like it, but uh, it just has a lot of kinks so far. Yeah, a, mo a modernized version of Banished Toasty. That's good. Uh, that's a good way of putting it. That was uh, also how I uh, how I uh, compared it when I uh, announced it on my first tutorial. It feels like the spiritual successor of Banished. It's way more complex. It's uh, it has all the modern things you need, better UI and uh, and a lot of uh, visual candy. But uh, the same uh, depth of complexity that I really loved about uh, about Banished, you know. So the compost yard. Dreadbull, I dare. <laughs> Good evening, he says. Good afternoon, I say. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for your kind gift yesterday. I already took a dip into it an hour ago, and I think there is a very high chance of me streaming some circadian dice either later today or tomorrow for sure. So it's on my to-do list because it's frankly said awesome. I only played the tutorial, but uh, already uh, got me all excited about the uh, great ideas that the game features. I do see where the overwhelmingly positive reviews come from. So let's we'll see where the how my how my root cellars. Uh, okay, here's everything working on out as intended. So there's the apiary. It's year number seven. Okay. So I wonder what will happen when I'll get attacked. So let's probably think about defenses too. So I can't build a lookout tower. The lookout tower defends the surrounding area against hostile threats. And the barracks. Can I afford the monthly cost of that? Ish. Alright, nice. So we're going to build up a barracks because I feel threatened by now. Been surprised, Dreadbull? Well, there, there are just these genius games that get overlooked quite easily. I know. And I'm always happy to be nudged towards a good game. Though, the trader is in town! Gimme, gimme. What do you have, my man? So, uh, here. I feel like the these items, they need to be a little bit more accentuated. You know? So, so hard to perceive what, uh, what you're ought to do. So, Merchant is buying planks. So, global stock. We, we have to transfer all our global stock over there because I don't have enough money to buy the heavy tool that I'm missing. But they are. He's offering the heavy tools I'm needing, so that's great. Iron ore. Hmm. And uh, baskets. So we're, we're also able to sell some baskets here. It's all going to be quite cool as soon as it's uh, established. I, I can't already tell. But here, you, I, I really have a hard time perceiving what uh, kind of goods we are trading around. There should be a line which, uh, which shows us what it is better. Um, also, I want to pop up for the uh, merchant being there, and uh, it sucks that I have to 
be constantly on the lookout when the uh, raider will arrive, you know. So. Why can't I buy this? Ah, here. Yeah. So I can't enter enter a number, alright. Oh, I can automatically transfer that into town storage, though. That's a nice feature. Oh, dear. I, I tried to uh, stock something uh, I don't have in here. So... This is also configuring uh, how much I want to keep in stock here uh, at the trade post. I see. Okay. So there's just... Uh... Ah, here is a uh, departure thing, and there is a second trader in town. So, looks like baskets and the like are being bought by practically everybody. Raiders! Okay. So, let's see. Probably this is going to be the end of our uh, little city here anyways. So I didn't prepare, but you are going to face the wrath of an entire, uh, entire village, my men. Sick em, boys! Village was raided. What what was raided? Oh, a villager has been stricken by festering wounds. Okay. I like the level of detail here, I gotta say. Okay. Oh, look at that. The windmill's done. So, uh, grain is being produced. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, the bakery's running. Oh, the bakery also requires water. I mean, that doesn't come as a big surprise there, but, uh, let's give this place its own well then. I mean, come on. This should make things a lot easier. Okay, so market does market stuff. Um, so far we don't really have anything we're going to we're, we're we're able to sell there, so let's see. I want the gold from the trading post in my storage because I want those barracks, you know. I don't feel well with that. So here we have our tier 2 homes versus the tier 1 homes. I really hope that in the longer in the longer p uh, perspective we're going to have different models for those houses because right now every tier 2 house looks the same. They might look lovely and I must say this is something that really really uh, that's really enjoyable about this game but it needs some variants too. But this is really crazy. Okay. Now then, what's next? Um, let's see. I have a hard time clicking my apiary. Honey. There's now honey spawning on my crop fields. Beloved. Here, apiary. Storage. Oh, they produce wax, too. So, I think it might be time to think about a candle maker, too. 
Silk Shop. Tallow and herbs. I don't have either. Um, I don't. I have. I have herbs. Candles. So. Oh yeah, the good old slope to steep game, huh? So well. Place the candle shop down here. I like that. Okay, then. Let's build that barracks. Plus five. Plus five what? Plus three? Is this, in a, is this a building that's able to shoot autonomous, autonomously? Well, we'll find out. Only by doing it. So, O oh Stone, where art thou? Here. Some rock. Hey, boy, die there. How is the Age of Empires on a budget one? You're talking about this game? Uh, don't compare it with Age of Empires. I think that's a, that's not a good comparison. The best comparison I've found so far is Banished. This is a uh, village survival simulator. And you read some mixed reviews? Yeah, well, it's... Uh, the main issue with the game so far are two things. First off... It's extremely deep and complex, and at the same time, its user interface is a nightmare. Can't put it into uh, any better words. This is just, uh, there's just so much happening on the screen, and it's hard to keep track of everything. And uh, the other thing is, well, it ain't done yet. And uh, you really notice that at the worst spot, the not done yet when you notice that there is a distinct lack of goals you know there's not really much to do now except for building to the next tier there are three tiers so far as far as i've seen so basically our next goal will be to have uh, 25 homesteads a school and a nice population and then we can uh, obviously upgrade to the next tier but Besides that, there aren't too many goals yet, so, yeah. Definitely my personal um, biggest issue with it so far, that, uh, you know, there's just not enough, um, there's just not enough uh, goal in it, and uh, you get the feeling as if you don't really know what you're working yourself towards to, and uh, what for yet. But I, I think these are all solvable problems, you know. But when I restarted this uh, save file, for example, after a while, my, uh, my first impression was, what the heck is going on here? Like, I, I, I really had little to no clue what, uh, what we were, um, what was happening here. So the estimated yield here is really, really crappy. So let's add some sand into this. It's very weedy. So we're going to uh, do for the second year just crop clearing. There we go. Whole place needs to clear out. Okay, then we're going to go for Clover. Game, you happy now? Okay. I did what I had to do. So, this building has room for more workers. Oh, yeah. So, we have now recruitment cost 25 gold. And, uh,.
so these uh, guys also need weapons. Basically all we do with the barracks is uh, patching up a building where our people are going to be better equipped. And obviously I really hope that uh, the soldiers kick butt more heavily than uh, the other guys. But I would assume as much, otherwise it would be really uh, debatable what they're good for. So, a large park. We have a small park here. And what I personally dislike the most is that the game doesn't really show you well what kind of decoration is already influencing uh, the buildings there. It's making it really, really hard to perceive whether you will have a benefit from that or not. So here I, I see that when I move on closer that the desirability is uh, getting higher. So this obviously is something uh, they they don't have yet, but uh, you get the idea. It's, it's really hard to read that. And uh, the game right now has a lot of these issues. That's personally what I see uh, the the most uh, the most annoying part about Father's Frontier so far. That the all the features the game has in store for you are just uh, not to uh, not too well organized and uh, well perceivable. There, in the city. Um, guys, I I just tried to... Uh... Oh yeah, okay, see? The cyan circles go away if I go too far. Wow, that bear's quite a killer. But, guess what? We killed the bear. What I wish for would be a loot system for these suckers, because it's a little bit uh, annoying that you take down such a beastie and you don't get any reward from that. Feels bad, man. So, we have a shoal of fish here as well, so let's get ourselves some more... Some more fish in. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish. Typhoid, okay. But, to say something positive, I think once uh, the development of this game is uh, through, it's going to be really, really good. Most of it are early game issues and fixable. I'm just, uh, frankly, sad. By now, a tad bit tired to be the beta tester for uh, for the uh, gaming um, industry. Although I gotta say, I, I'm at least getting paid for it, you know. I'm feeling sorry for all the gamers who are actually paying money for being beta testers. That's a really horrible system that has uh, snuck up on us here over the years. I don't like that. We should be earning money, all of us for playing those uh, early access versions and providing valuable feedback to the developers, you know. Okay, so we can sell herbs. Wonderful. So let's do this. Boom. And, uh... Let's see. This guy is selling smoked meat. QA is being mistreated. Yeah, especially in big companies. That's really a good, uh, good way of putting it. So he would be buying alcohol. So let's see. There's another trader incoming. Or was the Sekiak here? So let's see. I personally think 
the whole part with the heavy tools has to be uh, nudged out. Sucks that you can't produce bread without uh, having produced those heavy tools. And I, let's see, the iron mine doesn't need that. Let's see, weaver, candle shop, soap shop. Shouldn't we have something like a smelter, armory, or or do we get iron ore? Or do, do we not need to refine iron ore? I'd be extremely surprised if that would be suddenly the case, but... Uh... There's iron ore, so let's try it. Okay. Smelter is T3. So, uh, we can do anything with the iron ore beef. Or we have reached T3. Bolton, hi there. Is the, are these guys for real? Ah, that's a sucky idea. Brewery, foundry. Yeah, okay, I, I have zero understanding for that. That's such a that's a crappy decision in my humble opinion. Because now I need to convolute my city with uh, with a meaninglessly high amount of citizens, only to get the ability to refine that stuff. Feels bad, man. Well, the uh, clay pit ain't useless. And the sand pit ain't useless. But yeah, I get what you're saying, man. That's damn weird. In a bad way. In a very, very bad way. And, uh... Shouldn't they have added the... The sand by, uh, the clay by now? Villagers succumb to illness. Yeah, well. Here we go. Weed levels lower now. The estimated yield goes up. Okay. That's a really, uh, really, really unfortunate decision. I don't like that. Because that means I'm... Pretty much, uh... Okay, I can build a barn, too. So... It's bad for the desirability of things here. There's foraging stuff. Impending heat wave. Alright. So, ensure your town has adequate water supply as villagers will need to draw water from these wells. Crops may be damaged, especially those sensitive to heat, I say. Yeah, kind of tragic that uh, there's uh, not enough behind it yet. Yeah. Small shrubs, okay. And I really, really wish for a uh, a rework of the decoration system. I don't know why, but it's it's just feeling extremely annoying to to do the whole ex uh, the whole um, desirability uh, mini game there. So. My verdict so far is I'm going to wait for the next version to pop up before I touch this again. Sadly. I wanted to try out for today whether or not I'll be able to make it for, um, for Tier 3. But I gotta say, I'm already... Oh, 
not so... Uh, I'm feeling not too ambitious here. Because we'll have to support a populace of 100 to uh, to get towards tier 3. And I, I find that a pretty crappy uh, decision to... Uh, um, to lock your progression like that. Because that'll mean that uh, however I want to build my uh, my thing, I'll I'll have no chance to uh, to do that as I want to, basically, unless I have this arbitrary number of uh, people. But as you see here, um, I got here already uh, four builders, three laborers. I have five slots open. I basically don't even know what I would do with all those people, you know? And I need to feed them, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well... I'm just an honest uh, reviewer, Kage, you know? You're the, you, you always will get uh, um, reviews that are free of sugarcoating from my side. I'm somebody, Sometimes I am easily excitable. I do admit that. Worms. <laughs> But uh, if there's something bad about something, be, be sure that I'm going to be honest about it. Especially when it comes down to gaming. But I, I see all these issues as uh, resolvable. That building is on fire. Must be the heat wave. One thousand two hundred gold too. Yeah, well, Walton. I think the key to that is you have to do trading. You have to have something in your city that you have in such a high amounts that you're willing and able to export it. And uh, I think that's what how you're supposed to get those one thousand two hundred. How to fix villagers may not be able to reach this building. Err. I'm not exactly sure, TC and TCC, sorry. I'm, uh, I don't quite understand the uh, issue there yet. Maybe you can explain it a little bit more thoroughly. I mean... So, uh, did you make it to TF3, Walton, actually? Hey, Zero. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm not done with my tutorial series for Factorio yet, but we're certainly going to get there. But I'm really, really happy that I was able to help you. It was a hot uh, decision for me whether I'll do these or not, because there's already so damn much informational material about uh, Factorio, but then I figured that... A lot of people appreciate the way I'm uh, I'm doing these things, so. But like, it's been a good decision, and you are approving that. <laughs> I see, Walton. I see. <laughs> so it sounds like pretty much a circle of BS going on there. Sadly. Hmm. Well, okay. That's really, really uh, unfortunate. I mean, I don't see myself having too much trouble getting the money together. We'll uh, basically just need to sell whatever we're producing here in large enough amounts. Biggest issue I'm seeing so far is that... Uh, I really struggle with how the hell will I bring up all the food for all those people. Bintang and Tama, hi there. So happy to see you. Hope you're having a fine day so far. So, the crop field. They are extremely weedy, so... Um, we should be putting up... Something like that in a while. And... Uh, which ones are... Yeah, the, the beans are good for the fertility, okay. Let's 
So I have two fields for... Oh no, here's flax. Ah, and I do have this every second year. Confused. Confused. This is a survival um, city builder. Settlement builder. Village builder. Very detailed. Much focus into um, depicting things as they uh, as they are realistic and not too much abstractation. But sadly, it's very, very early access, so there's still a lot that uh, that's left to wish for. Especially the um, the balancing is very um, debatable at many points. So I really wonder if I have to uh, place down the new trees for the arborists whenever the uh, the old ones are dying off manually. If so, I'd be very, very unhappy. And, uh, let's see. I'm not really sure if all the stuff is getting processed here, so let's check it out. Um, agriculture? No. Gathering. That, that's... No? Ah, food production. Protein. Here. Fish. We have a very, very low spoilage rate, okay? Okay. Then I'll rest my case. Okay. I'm so sad to say that this game has really still a long way ahead of it. Ah, it pains me to say that because I really want to play it, you know? I really, really want to play it, but I do see that there's just a... Uh, a very low ceiling for uh, whatever you want to do with this game, you know. And there's also that that problem with uh, the. There's so many clarity issues, for example, like uh, like the whole decoration ordeal here. You don't know what kind of decoration is already influencing the building, but every decoration is only allowed to influence a building once. So basically, we will have to guess what kind of building these uh, still need, and then... Ah. No, we're not going to accept it. But I'm pretty sure that all this will get resolved. I hope that the progression uh, curve will be uh, seeing some rebalancing soon. Because that's so far, as far as I see it, the biggest culprit here. That it's just not appealing to build a city of... Oh no, I need 125 people. To, uh, that I have to have 125 people before I'm allowed to finally process iron. That's just outrageous. That feels so damn dumb. Because by the time that you have a city of 125, you are basically through the early access content. Challenge-wise. Because uh, before I uh, attempted to jump back into Cyrillum, I can only recommend it. The new, you know, the new patch is dope. It's really, really good. So let's see what's uh, going on there. We can build a pup. We can build an apothecary. I cannot build the, uh... Ah, yeah, the healer's house. But the healer's house has a whopping amount of 30 gold monthly costs. 30 effing gold. Things are also too costly. Like, things like these are way too costly. Cheesemaker is coming on in. Preserves building, so preserved fruit. Mm-hmm. Furniture. Brewery. 
the Hungry, Forge, Brickyard, Glassmaker. Well, I do see that a couple of these things are understandable behind tier 3. I just think that uh, there should be a tier 4 and a tier 3, which is easier accessible. Because uh, this right now is just... Uh, well... I'm going to cut it here because honestly I have found out what I uh, wanted to find out. I'm sorry that this is uh, a very short stream, but I'm going to be back in a couple of minutes with, uh, with something else. So all of you who are still hungry for more, just stay on here. And I thank everybody for watching, especially if this has been a video on demand for you. Well, this has been a pretty honest review about the state of the game after all. Leave me a comment down below, a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and a subscription would be deeply deeply appreciated. Also check out my social media in the description box below if you want to check out the streams. I announce them all on my Discord and on Twitter and uh, if you hop on on there you'll find me. And last but not least, check out my Patreon. There's a new campaign running on you to influence what kind of content will be on my show in the future. And a donation via PayPal would be wildly appreciated. But don't mind me, it's just an ad roll. I thank you for watching this, thank you for your time, and I hope you're stopping on by soon again. See you soon, bye-bye.